welcome to my channel my name is Anya and in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions now a decent selection of the products that I am using that they're not new to the market it's just that I haven't used them before I have a couple of things that are new some of them are sold out slash currently not available there is one item in particular but that brand has similar products so I'm gonna choose to include them anyway I'm excited so I'm gonna quickly just share the stuff that I will be using for my base products I have the new NYX marshmallow primer this is actually new I got this as a gift with purchase and I haven't used it I'm kind of intrigued by it I had a feel of the texture last night night before and it seems promising it seems like it's a texture similar to the ones that I like from number seven and Fenty. My foundation and concealer are the Colourpop Pretty Fresh. I have the shade Fair 05W, so the lightest colour with the warm undertone. They might be a little bit too light for me because I have spent some time in the sun. We've had like super sunny warm days the last week. It's been kind of nice but also not very nice because I am heat intolerant so I've struggled a bit. But it's now currently pouring down which isn't helping because it's still kind of warm outside so it's just turned super humid but these may be a little bit too light for me but I can work with it. I just noticed I forgot to grab my powder. The powder I'm using is the Colourpop in the compact one. It's not new. I've used it before. It's a favourite of mine. But I don't currently have any new powders so I'm going to use one that I like and see how it pairs with other Colourpop products. For blush I have this Fenty highlighted duo. This is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I am mainly going to wear the orange one as blush but this has some shine to it because these are like highlighters so I'm envisioning that's going to also kind of give me a glowy cheek as at least that's what I'm hoping. My brows are going to be the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This is new. I have the shade Auburn. I have started dyeing my brows. They do need to dye now. They're kind of fading a little bit. It does work because my hair is also fading a bit, so it kind of matches it. But I've started dyeing my brows so I don't have to fill them in completely. But I have a couple of sparse areas, which for this brow is along the top and like the outer part. And here I have the under part just under the arch. So I want to see how this works and I have the Makeup Mecca Brow Set which I've used before and I really like. This is completely clear, it has no colour, just amazing hold. So I want to see how that fares on my face and if they work well together. For my eyes I have a couple of things. I have a feeling it's going to be a very blush heavy look so I don't want to do something that is like super contrasty and dramatic on the eyes. I am most likely going to pick these up. These are the Glisten Cosmetics split liner palettes, which they had 12 different content creators on Instagram do a collaboration, each made their own palette. I picked up the one by Gemini Blush. I will leave their Instagrams down below. And this has the three primary colours and black and white. I feel like this is a nice base palette to have for liner because I'm not very good with liner. I don't do it a lot. And then I picked up this one by Colleen Makeup, which is a pastel one. I'm most likely going to reach into this and I'm kind of eyeing the green shade. I also recently got some Cleona Milsa creams in the mail that I ordered last year. The one that I'm kind of eyeing the most is the shade Gloaming, which looks like this. It has a silvery base with like a peach pink reflect. To me it looks kind of like a mint green with a pink shift. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to showcase it. But it's kind of the one that's the most different out of the ones I have. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I haven't actually decided. My mascara is going to be the Isadora Big Bold Waterproof Volume 1. I haven't used this before so I am excited to see how that fares. My lashes, if you don't know, are super finicky. They tend to point straight down a little bit and they don't hold a cup so they need help. <laughs> and I have to date found three mascaras that do the job. I'm kind of hoping this is going to be a fourth one because it seems Tarte has stopped making my favourite Tarte Lights camera splashes, which makes me sad because that's one of three, which means I'm now down to only two. Then for lips. So I got the Dose of Colours Nima Tang Coral Lip Set. So I have the lipstick in Bow, which is a deep coral. It looks a bit more like a burnt orange on me because I'm very fair. I also have the lip gloss in sequence. Not sure what I'm going to do. I'm potentially leaning a little bit more glossy over straight colour but I may tap a little bit of the lipstick on and put the gloss over. So I think I'm going to just start. So I have just put the primer and the foundation on my face 
and it was not recording and I didn't notice it until now. So I'm not in the mood to refilm this, it's too hot. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk you through it. The Marshmallow Primer, it has a light pink colour. It goes on and feels very much like the Fenty Pro Filter, which is my favourite primer, so I'm really happy if this can dupe that. It has a kind of moisturising feeling to it, but it also f has the kind of slip to it that it feels like it's going to cover and help minimize the appearance of texture which i love it does smell a lot like marshmallows though and i'm not sure i like that because it's very very strong and very sweet the foundation i am in love with uh, i have put one pump of this all over my face and i was not expecting full coverage i was expecting light i got light and then i have built it up a little bit on my cheek and on my chin and I really like how it looks. The colour I will say is a decent match for me. You can't even tell that it's on. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how it looks on my cheeks and chin. I was a little bit worried that it was going to cling to dryness and texture. I'm honestly so happy with how this looks. I am using a brush to apply it because that's become my new favourite way to apply base products and I was a bit worried that because that tends to accentuate texture for me. But it works out really well. I think then it's time for concealer. I'm going to start applying a little dot to that on the under eye. I'm going to try this with a, with a sponge just to see. That seemed to blend it out really nicely. Again, light coverage, but I'm okay with that. The sponge did take away a little bit of the coverage on the area, like on the cheekbones and the side of my nose. So when I pass near them, which I kind of expected, and I'm just going to top up that coverage with the concealer and the sponge. I'm going to try the concealer on the breakouts that I have. I'm gonna put it onto the back of my hand and just use the sponge to press that over. I think that looks nice. I don't know if the foundation is oxidizing slightly or if the concealer is just a touch lighter, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. The concealer looks just a tiny bit lighter on my skin, but not so light that it's like noticeable, I think. I think if they do blend together very nicely. It's a bot though. I'm gonna need to take a quick couple of minutes of break and then I'm gonna set my under eyes because it is creasing. I don't have anything against that. All concealers crease under my eyes for me. I'm more worried about how it's going to potentially hold up after powdering. So I'm going to set my eyelids and my under eyes and I think I'm gonna try and leave my face as is for now. I'm using the Colourpop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in Fair. It's one of my favourite powders. I'm just using a Real Techniques, I think it's a setting brush, and I'm tapping off the excess and I'm going to just use my fingers first to blend out the, um, the creasing both on the lid and under the eyes and then I'm going to tap the powder in. That powder can sometimes add a tiny bit of coverage. I don't think it added too much. I like how it looks. And I have, in my little break, decided what I'm doing to the eyes. So I'm going to take the Cleona Multichrome in Gloaming. And this is a glitter iridescent multichrome. And I'm probably not going to be able to show off the shift. I've played with it on my hand here. You can kind of see what I'm planning. But all of the shine is there. But you can see it shifts pink. I don't think I'm going to catch the green. I can see the green from here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to put that on the eye, kind of as a wash over the lid. I'm planning on keeping the eyes kind of light. I've seen you super up close. I put gloaming all over the lid into the crease. I didn't really care about blending the edges because you can't really tell. It's really pretty, it's really special. I am going to take the split liner from Glisten Cosmetics, the one by Colleen, which is the pastel one. I'm going to take the green and I have the lid here. I have a small cup. I'm not going to be able to show you this up close up, but I have a small cup of water. I'm just getting a little bit of water into the lid and then as if it were a watercolour taking my pencil and working it and I'm just using a little corner. I don't know if I want to actually do a straight 
line kind of thin as thin as I can get it with this or if I want to do like a dotted line is starting like in the middle of the lid and outwards I'm kind of feeling the dotted one but I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm gonna be able to do it I think we're gonna start with the dotted if it doesn't work out we'll do a line there's no uniformity to these dots they kind of look like confetti on my lid I should have probably had a bit of a smaller brush with this because this doesn't come to a super fine point I'm not entirely mad with how that turned out actually. Now to see if I can do it on the other eye. Yeah, like this eye turned out so neat and this eye didn't. But then again, I can never do winged line of equal on both eyes either, so I think I am pleased with the outcome. Now the question is, do I want to add anything to the inner corner? I'm kind of thinking yes. Just do a line on the water, like waterline tea duct in an area there. I wouldn't consider those lines to be even, but I think it's honestly going to be the best that I can do. So I can never put mascara on the camera. I have checked, and this wand is giant. It's literally the size of my eyeball. So I am going to turn the camera off, try my hardest to not get this all over the lid. I might just wait a few minutes just to let the line of completely like dry down and set. But I think while waiting I can do my eyebrows. So I'm just starting off with some soap in the spoolie. The way I do it is I brush the eyebrows up and really fluff them up and then I gently shape just some of the hair so that it's not super bushy because I don't love the super bushy brow on me. I'm then taking the Lift and Snatch brow pen I feel like that did exactly what I wanted it to. It gave a little bit of extra colour to the areas where I don't have much. I did wipe off some soap residue from mine though, so I would probably keep that in mind. I'm going to put mascara on and I'll be right back. I don't like this mascara at all. I spent probably five minutes curling my lashes and they have dropped. So I may try this a couple more times just to see. With this I had to be super super careful. Still got it on my lids and everywhere. I can never apply mascara with getting it on my eyelids. I just think that's how my lashes are. I also think I lost a couple of the green dots in my lash curling process because my lash curler is um is green now. I think the idea for the eyes was fine. A little bit unsure about that line though, but I think it's kind of fun. I can't do like a pointy tiny wing on the inner corner. I don't have the fine motor skills to deal with that, so this is kind of how I get colour into there. It maybe just it was a touch thicker than what I had planned, and I think that's just the brush I was using. I was opting for this one because it has that curve, so I thought it may be easier. So for blush, I am still keen on the orange. Is it perhaps a little bit too much with this eye look? Maybe. Do I care? Not particularly, no. So I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna dip a little bit in. I have not set the foundation on this side. I'm going to set it on the other side. I want to just see if this blends nicely over the top of a not set base. It didn't blend horribly and it does have some glow to it, which I love. I also definitely feel like it looks more yellow on me versus like orange. I'm gonna build a little bit more. I am actually kind of digging that. Is it a lot? Yeah. I am going to just gently set this area of my face. And I was very careful with it on this side to try and like not have it take away any coverage and stuff. But with blush I am not really that careful. Let's see what happens on the powder side. I do you think this kind of needs it to go across the nose? I prefer it just blended straight on it. Maybe that I was more careful with it, but I feel like it went on a bit strong. And that's definitely a me problem, but I don't hate that. Final step for lips. I am going to tap a tiny bit of a bow on. On my lips, my lips are a bit dry. I'm going to wear mainly the gloss. I just want a little bit of like that on there, a little bit of that red orange color. This may honestly be the first time I'm actually purposely wearing a coral lipstick and not hating the outcome. And then to finish with some gloss. Is this look wearable? Probably not. Do I still love it? 
I do. Can't wait to play more with the glisten liners and with the orange blush. Maybe not at the same time. I feel like I feel like it is a lot. But that's just because I'm trying to do too many things at once here. But I don't hate it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that you were here. If you have tried any of the products, tell me what you think of them down below. I can't wait to play more with them, honestly. I am loving makeup at the moment and playing with colours and textures and everything. I'm not sure if this look is going to be on Instagram though because the mascara kind of ruined the eye look for me. I'm going to go now, so I will see you again soon. Bye!